Good morning from my smartphone to yours. I'm Cast in Love from the Serious Story Garden Studios in Costa Mesa, California. And this is your Thursday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Christopher Wateki. My modality is psychic astrology and my personal mission is to stand in my heart and help other people stand in theirs. This webisode is for Thursday, February 18th, 2016. Boy, the year's just buzzing by, isn't it? And today the great human walk has reached step 29, Aquarius. This is the final and tested degree of Aquarius frequency. And really this is uh, in truth the test of the bizarre. Some truly bizarre stuff can open up. This is one of those degrees that's such a splinter of a splinter of a splinter uh, that sort of miracles can kind of happen. Really bizarre headlines can happen in this kind of degree. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, You just kind of sit back and observe. But for yourself, you might be feeling a little out of it. Let's do today's vibe. Today's vibe is sunny, freaky, and out of place. That's what I think everyone's feeling, sunny, freaky, and out of place. I don't think anyone will feel comfortable 100% in their own skin. You just got to kind of get through this. Uh, It has a lot to do with the alignment of the planets. First of all, we are on the very edge of reality, step 29, uh, Aquarius. That means my heart is feeling on edge. My heart is feeling motion. My heart is feeling passion. My heart is feeling all sorts of things. And I think a lot of people question integrity at this final 29 degree. If you're not really ready, you kind of feel pushed in the pool. So even people who jump in the pool uh, weren't ready. (laughs) Okay, like So everyone feels freaky at the end of the day. Now, what are you feeling? Moody and emotional. Everyone is feeling over it. I'm feeling everything. The moon is in cancer. I'm feeling everything. And I'm feeling it's, you know, too much. So really, you know, emotion is like kind of like paddling a boat. You just want to gently be nice to yourself and get yourself out of that today if that's what the case is. Now, what am I open to? I'm open to whatever feels right. Venus is at step two Aquarius. So step two is I'm open to what feels right. And Aquarius is it's got to be just right or I ain't doing it. So that's one thing about Aquarius when it comes to Venus or female Aquarius. A female Aquarius is all about it if everything's right. If it's not right, female Aquarius is not all about it. (laughs) Okay, like it's a very yes and no kind of thing. What am I open to? I'm open to what feels right. I'm thinking about, that's the next one. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about what flows easiest. Mercury's at step six. So we're trying to actually stay flow, stay in balance. And so the mind is a little obsessive about balance today. That's to be expected. The good news is if you just relax, your mind is really ready to balance things. So if you're trying to balance a lot, which is often on a step 29 day, people trying to balance a lot of frequencies, a lot of things in the air, a lot of juggling, you know, it's that final, you know, I always joke that step 29 is the final act in a show, like a musical, like, you know, like, and that's an Aquarius or the final act. And, and since it's Aquarius, step 29, the final act is probably something out of uh, Pink Floyd or, you know, <laughs> 70s moody blues with fireworks and weird sort of stuff. And, you know, little Michael Jackson kind of inspiration there. So I imagine it's going to be freaky. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be a test of the bizarre today. And you might be on stage or watching. Now, I am mastering and minding my boundaries. Mars is at step 23. We are finding the mastermind of our boundaries now. We're through the vortex of weird. And we're starting to get a little more comfortable with what feels right. So as Mars goes through the higher degrees of Scorpio, things will get comfier and comfier if you do things correctly. And today I am learning how to build a life to protect my feelings. I am learning how to build a life to protect my feelings. None of us understand how to protect our feelings. We're learning how to build this life. We're also asking for incredible or sensational or cool stuff or higher vibration stuff. So we're really learning how to protect our feelings uh, in the context of asking for stuff for the first time, but learning in the sense of, hey, recognizing emotion is very important and feeling good is very important to happiness, period, to serious joy. So the joy quest today... 
Should you choose to accept it, it might be tough. I think we got some turbulence, folks, just to say it's going to be a turbulent day, is to stay the course and maintain your altitude. Stay the course and maintain your altitude. So, uh, you know, if things are just at you and you want to give up and your side is hurting and you don't want to complete, you know, the journey, it's like just stay the course and don't lose altitude. Just continue where you were. You just got to go 24 more hours in this cycle, basically, uh, of Aquarius, and we go off to heaven of Pisces. And literally everything does just release. So, uh, so just got to go for 24 more hours, okay? Basically, be of service to your feelings. Step 29 means just that. Uh, be of service to your feelings. Stay the course. All right, let's shift now to an interesting topic. I thought I would take us off to the bazaar today, just because today is ruled by the bazaar. And our topic is going to be something that a lot of people have asked for, so I have given and received. You'll see here in just a moment. Today's topic is astropolitics. We're going to look real quickly at Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton's astrology charts. I thought it would be kind of interesting. And we will use the overhead projector. So let's do that. Now, I'm going to bring up, just because my heart loves Bernie, I'm going to bring up Bernie first. And I'm going to go through this kind of quickly a little bit. But I want to just kind of point out what I think is interesting and everyone can take they want with this information. I thought about including Trump, but honestly, I'm not going to lend any of my talent to that man. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't have to do that. Uh, so, you know, remember where you put your powers, where you put your vote in many ways. So I'm not giving him any more airtime in that sense. Uh, but I do want to look at Bernie Sanders and I want to look at Hillary Clinton. So taking a look real quickly at Bernie Sanders. Now, we don't know precisely his time of birth. Uh, so, uh, but we do know, of course, the day and we know where he was born. And so I, being a politician, I kind of just uh, played around with the time to make his son be in the 11th house. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but many politicians have their son in the 11th house, actually. Um, but either way, we know a lot from this chart. First of all, uh, he is a step 15 Virgo. Step 15 means that he is a peacemaker. Any step 15 in any sign is a peacemaker. They're a person who is interested in peace and fairness and justice. Personally, he uh, was born a peacemaker at step 15, but his north node is step 22, which means that he is here for revolution. Step 22 is the Aquarius revolutionary step, right? So he is here for Virgo revolution. He's a Virgo, so revolution to him is very real, very concrete, very muddy in your hands. Now, his intuition is up at step 26, so he's actually very psychic in the Virgo world. He actually has very strong psychic awareness, and he's probably learning to trust that gut right there. But his mind is at Mercury, step 2, so his mind is a person who uh, is on his feelings, step 2. His mind is on what's fair emotionally, and so he's always emotionally looking at what's fair back and forth with Mercury at step two. Now his own Venus, it may be in the 12th house, it may not. I'm not sure here, but if it is, look at it. It's at step 22. So he is open to, ready to receive revolution. He's open to receive revolution and God says to point to revolution. So this whole revolution stuff is not surprising for him. Um, let's see how we are with time. Uh, I will point out, okay, so what about his moon? Well, uh, interesting love. This opposition between Venus and the Moon uh, definitely means that uh, you know pretty much he uh, is very much dedicated probably to the Moon and the Mars conjunction here because this is very real. Venus is what he gets to receive, so I don't think he has received. I mean, he doesn't get to receive very high Venus like this means that he has very very high standards as far as when he will take. He will not take from the cookie jar without very, very high standards. And that also means that, you know, if, if, if a woman was married to him, I'd be like, oh, he's hard to get to, girls. <laughs> you know, like, he's going to be hard to get to. Like, he's got these high, high, high justice ideals. You may not be that. But on the other side, there's what he feels and his male side. So he has a moon in Aries. An interesting thing is, like, at the time I have him born, uh, I had him at step 18. That would be a master moon. I don't know. In Aries. But his moon definitely is probably conjunct. Mars here. So this is his, he really, don't be fooled by 
how much of a fight he can put because he really is kind of a fighter, really is. And Mars is at, and there's no question on his date of birth, step 23. So his male ego is a master messenger, step 23, master message in Aries, which is the new man. Now remember Uranus, here's Uranus right now, looking at a couple of planets. Uranus is basically on his moon. So this election is, hey, he's got to emotionally turn it, like, turn it over and make it work. Um, uh, and so that's kind of interesting. He's got, so that's kind of like having, basically he's being forced to grow up and you may think, well, he's a certain age. He's already grown up. Well, Uranus on your moon is like, grow up kind of like a cowboy dance, dance, <laughs> you know, like, doo, 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 doo. so I think he's being shot at and that sort of, uh, so to speak. Um, and then the other thing I want to point out before I switch over to, uh, Hillary Clinton and give her some time, he has a so prenatal solar eclipse at step six Aries. So he actually has a very basic soldier in him. So he's very strong. A step six solar eclipse, a moon, and Mars in Aries. That is a soldier. That's a person who's going to go, 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 never give up. And that's probably been his whole life. He's been going, going, going. And it's ironic that it took this long, right? I'm sure he's like, holy shit, you know, it took this long for him to get here. His lunar eclipse, which means where he's emotionally has an issue with being eclipsed, is uh, self-compassion. And it's, it comes into 12 degrees in the house of his heart. So uh, he has to be compassionate to what his heart needs, what's important to his heart. And that's going to be not from a heart attack perspective, but from a perspective of he tends to give up his needs for other people. And he, you know, for strong leadership, he can't. He has to listen to what his heart wants. That's the other thing I'll say just to wrap up. He's got Pluto in Leo at step five and Chiron in Leo. So he's healing his heart. He's got to protect his heart's interest and what is important to his heart. And I think he's the he will throw his heart under the bus at times. So let's sw uh, quickly shift over to Hillary Clinton's chart and take a look at her and what we see here. Now, I believe we have her chart information, and this is what is kind of officially out there. I don't know if it's true, if what she has or not, you know, if it really is true. But I'm going to go with this is what's published, um, being born at this time. So she is a step three uh, Scorpio, which means that she is... Brand new at Scorpio, which means brand new at actually towing the line. Brand new at having to tow the line. Uh, she's been hurt at step 12, Chiron. So she herself is uh, has gotten on the balance beam and fallen off before and wants back on in this life. Uh, her Venus is ready to be a leader. Step 17 means, uh, means deci I decide. So she really is capable of making emotional decisions and executing emotional decisions. She can order things. Uh, and make the decision and, and do it swiftly and clean without any problems. And this is a good sign too. Her Mercury is at 21, which adds to a 3. So that's actually an open mind. She actually has an open mind. It wasn't when she was born, but she opened it. Uh, so she has a very open mind. Her 3 here says open mind. And she had probably fallen off the horse in this Chiron because she didn't have an open mind. And she probably learned the hard way. She probably reiterated uh, falling off a horse earlier in her life from not having an open mind. And now she does. Uh, so she's really open in this sense. A lot of her interesting stuff actually is with her lunar eclipse. She has a lunar eclipse at step 12, which is an open mind with beliefs. Okay, and her lunar eclipse is interesting. So it's like what's interesting is uh, wasn't Bernie's? Uh, yeah, Bernie's lunar eclipse is step twelve too. So both Bernie and Hillary have issues with the step twelve bridge, uh, being able to uh, emotionally cross the other side of the bridge. Be able to. They both have that issue. In Bernie's case, self compassion keeps him from crossing the bridge. In Hillary's case, actually lack of experience or ignorance. Step twelve in Sag is like. A uh, girl has not vacationed there before. <laughs> okay, like girl has not vacationed there before. She also says Jupiter at zero degrees. Zero is the number of Scorpio. So, um, you know, she has fortune if she does try to travel. So I think being Secretary of State would be an example of Jupiter and Sag. Like, oh, you want to be Secretary of State? Okay, you can travel across the world. So it's like she has a lot of fortune to travel across the world, whether she was Secretary of State or whatever. Um, I'm not surprised, though, uh, that she was. She, too, has issues, you know, honestly, when it comes to protecting her heart, her issues are a bit higher. She was born, you know, from the wrong class, and she should now be treating herself differently. So one of the key things here is, is she treating herself special or not? 
Um, her and uh, Bernie both have the same issue, and she has the same issue too. Look at that, step 21 again, an open mind. She's having have an open mind about what will fulfill her heart. So she probably closes down about what will fulfill your heart, and she's kind of maybe a little narrow-minded about what f will fulfill her heart. And, and God is always like, look, honey, there's tons of ways to have fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, God's very cool about it, so that's one of the lessons we have to learn. Interesting thing, she also has a moon in Aries like Bernie, um, but strangely enough, Bernie's moon, Bernie's moon is step 18 or higher, maybe step 12. Hers is five. So Bernie's actually emotionally more mature than her, even though he's the male, but she's also a fighter and see this, this is a grand trine and fire. That's very passionate. So she basically can like call up all of her passion inside of her and get like this fire going, which is probably what, you know, Bill Clinton experiences when he pisses her off, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, you know, like uh, and this, and that's what also, you know, that's a great love maker. That's great creativity. That's, you know, she has great creative genius potential. Anyone who has this grand trine has creative genius potential. So, um, so it's really, you know, you can see now what's interesting is she has Jupiter, Jupiter right now, which is fortune is in her house of career. So she's having uh, fortune in her house of career. Uh, Bernie has is a Virgo and Jupiter's in Virgo. So you can kind of see where both are getting really pumped up by the universe and helped by the universe. Uh, and we'll have to see. I hope that uh, that helps present to you guys. Oh, I will say in uh, Hillary's, what her solar eclipse is, her past life. Remember, Bernie has um, a past life in Aries, an extra soldier in a past life. She is a master manifester at step 28 Taurus. So, uh, and it comes from relationships. So I would imagine Bill Clinton... <laughs> Literally, a solar eclipse at 28 in the 7th would be like having some sort of ace in your hole as far as who you're married to and who you're lying with, and that's totally true. So her, she she's manifesting, she literally is. In fact, let's be honest, she's manifesting everything from that relationship to Bill. Everything has been is leveraged from that, which is not a bad thing, but that's definitely in her chart. Uh, versus, um, uh, and she can manifest a lot. I would imagine that she could, if she had the ability to have power, she would manifest a lot of things, indeed. All right, my friends, let's move on now to our own Zen Den and take a quick look at the planets. And welcome to the Zen Den. And before we move on to the planets and today's affirmation, let's first take three breaths and connect to our guides. Okay. And I got a very distinct planet today. I'll share it with you in just a moment. But first, our affirmation. Today I feel my integrity and stay the course. Today I feel my integrity and stay the course. And so it is, because I said so, I thought so. No matter what you do today, just try to stay in integrity. Integrity means you know who you are, you know what you need, you give yourself what you need. You don't cross in anyone else's space, you just stay 100%. On days like today, we're just trying to hold ourselves together. That's okay. You don't have to be a hero today, you don't have to go extra mile. Uh, and really, that's just, this is kind of a survival of the fittest day in the sense of each person needs to work on their survival, their integrity, their fittest today. Okay? So let's take a look at the, uh, at the planets. Uh, today the sun is at step 29. That is the final and tested step of Aquarius. This step always sucks, just so you know. You might slip back to square one. You might find yourself at the beginning of where you were at the beginning of this transit and making the same mistakes at the beginning of this transit. And you say, this is the last time. It probably is the last time, but whatever happens today, if something breaks down, it's definitely revealing to you, hey, you're not, this wasn't complete. This is not done yet. And, you know, uh, a master will go back and get it done. Uh, a junior will go, oh, next year. And like, no, next year you'll fall again. <laughs> you know, like, because you didn't go back. Now, Venus is at step two. That means we're open to receiving and open to our feelings. Our feelings are very important today. Okay, step two is feelings. Where are our feelings? Well, they're in cancer, yes purebred so emotions are doing a turnover emotions are pure right now pure meaning like um, uh, your feelings are coming to the surface for everyone on the planet everyone is getting very clear on our feelings don't forget in step 29 I feel is the two so emotions is one half of the whole equation 
Now, Mars has gone to the mastermind. I just want to point that out. Step 23, Scorpio. That means that you have to get your mind on where the lines are, where the boundaries are, and just stick to it. Okay? That's kind of like knowing, like, you know, okay, the surfboard's edges are here, and you just hold on to the edges. You don't know where the surfboard's going. You don't know if you're going to go up in a wave or down in a wave. You just know you're holding on to these two edges. <laughs> okay? Like, and that's kind of where we have to be right now. Okay? We have to just hold on the edges. You know, like, we're not quite sure because we are just breaking through. Um, now, can you guess what the planet was that Spirit told me today? Pluto. Pluto was the planet. And Pluto was the name. Of, I think it's because we're at the end. This is the end of uh, the universe. And Pluto is at 16, which adds to a 7, which means basically the boundaries being drawn right now um, are being drawn for what is fair, 6, and what is based on love, what is love and fair. So that adds to a 7, which is spirit. Of course, what, of course spirit is what's love and fair, right? So basically what I got in uh, meditation from spirit was like, oh, it's all about us. You know, Pluto, basically the energy was, it's Pluto because you guys are all coming home, which is Pisces. We're all going back home to spirit. So today I think we are uh, feeling that transition where uh, I just want to go home. Everyone just wants to go home. Everyone just wants to feel at ease and relaxed. And that will be what you feel once we finally get the sun into Pisces. So just keep on going. Keep on going. This one last day. Okay, folks? Um, and I'm asking spirit. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, Saturn's at step 15. That's being mindful of our heart. Uh, we're you know, your philosophy should be mindful of your heart. What does your heart need? What would be best for your heart? What would be the best things for your heart? Your highest good. If you're in any doubt, your highest good is what you aim for. Okay? Okay. All right. Well, I did a very lengthy chart already with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. So I'm going to go ahead and transition out of today's show. Everything feels very solid today, guys. Focus and just stay committed for 24 more hours, okay? Uh, stay the course. Maintain altitude. We're transitioning into Pisces. And I'm actually going to be uh, at the Conscious Life Expo tomorrow. Super excited. So if you're in town, come say hello. I'm going to pre-record Friday's show, of course, because I can't do both. Uh, but I look forward to seeing people there. Uh, and do remember we have our love fest on Saturday night. Come to my website, soulgarden.tv for details of that. Otherwise, folks, stay the course. We're just 24 hours away to peace and salvation of Pisces. Remember, I love you and live love be.